For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Today's treasure tale takes us to Hacken County, South Dakota. For the tale of Mexican Ed's Cash on the Dirty Woman. Grindstone, South Dakota was once a small little community on the crossroads of the stage running from Deadwood to Fort Pierre in the late 1800s. Consisting of a row of buildings on opposite sides of the road that would have been a blink and you'll miss it moment today sat a two-story hotel, bank, blacksmith shop, some saloons, a mercantile, barber shop, and a dance hall to support a population of around 200 townsfolk. The town was basically a service station for people coming from one place and going to another. Not much of a future for growth, but needed for others to grow. While it wasn't the first place you'd think you'd want to stop and set roots, in 1887, that's what a man named Ed Sanchez decided to do. After buying a plot of land on Main Street, he started to build, and only three weeks later, he opened up Mexican Ed's Roadhouse. It was meant to be a place where weary travelers could stop and rest, maybe get a bite to eat, socialize, and hear a little local gossip as you have a few drinks, maybe play a hand of poker or two. Mexican Ed's became a popular place amongst the locals, even more popular than the saloons who merely served drinks. In little time, people traveling between towns also learned of his popularity. It became a local spot sought out by weary travelers passing through from Deadwood or elsewhere. It didn't take long before Ed's Roadhouse dream started coming true. Everyone in town knew Mr. Sanchez was doing okay. Ed was a popular guy in town and got along with all of the locals. Ed's place was popular for a few years. In 1881, he confided in a trusted friend, Reuben Ebright, another local businessman that he had been doing all right. He told Ebright that he was making so much he feared putting it all in the bank in case the bank was ever robbed. He thought it was like putting all your eggs in one basket. Sanchez admitted that for years he had been cashing most of his fortune outside of town where only he and God knew where it was. He told Mr. Ebright that it wasn't the locals or the stage that he was worried about, just the ruffians and outlaws that stopped off from Deadwood and the like from time to time. Reuben Ebright, a lifelong resident in the community, or at least in the town's lifetime, as it died off shortly after the railroad completed its line, eliminating the need for stages. Ebright survived till 1946 and died at the age of 96. He told the story of Grindstone and the treasure of Mexican Ed many times over the years. Other residents of the town also told stories of seeing Ed every couple of weeks take a shovel and an old fruit jar they figured was coins walking west of town to Dirty Woman Creek just up the way, only to come back a little later with just a shovel. Nobody in town gave it any attention. Ed was well liked, generous to the locals. Why try to take something he'd probably give you if you asked or needed it anyway? For years, Ed Sanchez was a good man to the locals, even as things started to dry up for the little town. On March 16, 1902, things were about to change. It seems Ed's luck would run out. 
a couple of the rough and tough type he'd feared rode into town from Fort Pierre. Bob Adams and Alex Meter were a couple out of work cowboys passing through and stopped for a bite to eat and a chance to rest the horses. With their last paychecks they went inside and ate a hearty supper. Afterwards, noticing a poker game in play, they decided to sit in for a bit, socializing, and maybe put an ear out for anyone needing their skills. After hours of hands of cards and several shots of whiskey, it was at the end of one high stakes hand, Adams called out Mr. Sanchez as a cheat. Ed soundly rebuted his accuser as a holdout card fell silently at his feet. Adams kicked back his chair and began insisting Mexican Ed had cheated him and was nothing but a worthless vile cheat and no better than a common thief and low life. While somewhat intoxicated, Ed had had enough of some outsider calling him out as a cheat in his own place. He stood up and drew his pistol as fast as he could but was unable to get the drop on Adams who was already standing and able to clear leather first, delivering a fatal blow to Mr. Sanchez's head. Fearing what had happened, the two fled town, where Adams was convinced to turn himself in to the Fort Pierre Sheriff. After explaining what had happened to the Sheriff and an investigation, Adams was set free as he was thought to have acted in self-defense to protect himself. It's unknown if Mexican Ed was a cheat or not. The card could have honestly been dropped in a drunken shuffle, or even dropped by an accomplice in an attempt to cast doubt on a business owner's credibility amongst his peers. Either way, Ed was gone, and with him, the location of all the caches he'd hidden on Dirty Woman Creek. Grindstone, like Ed, wouldn't live on. It became a ghost town as the railroad dominated travel in the area. To find where Grindstone used to be, start off in the town of Wall, South Dakota. From Wall, travel north eight miles on Creighton Road. Creighton Road will veer 90 degrees to the right and become Kelly Hill Road just before the Cedar Butte Road and 191st Avenue intersection. Keep eastbound on Kelly Hill Road for 13 miles. Turn left on 206th Avenue. Travel two miles and you'll reach 225th Street. This is the crossroads site of Grindstone. Who knows, if you can find the site location, the dirty woman, and obtain permission to dig, maybe she'll give up a couple of Mexican Ed's long lost fruit jars of his prosperity. Maybe it's your lucky day. Good luck, happy hunting, keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging. For even more to explore, check out these other videos.